Welcome in everyone. This is our weekly flow alerts recap for Stock Hub. A couple of these were um, posted free on Twitter X, whatever you want to call it now. Um, so we're going to go over the all the alerts called out this week and go over the movement of the contract and kind of touch on the flow. So I'm going to kind of do this a little different than I normally do. I'm just going to kind of show everybody the posts in Discord. Obviously everybody in Discord knows I've posting these so um just kind of gonna go over them make this a little more seamless than usual so so we have um well I'll first start out here so these are our alerts from this week so we had GDX Amazon Tesla I get out of the way shop eBay and phase IWM AMC and phase again GSL Netflix and hymns so again these are all the dates they came in times so I'm just going to show everybody in here, can come obviously no edits or anything, so May 20th, 21st, Amazon, Tesla, eBay, some charts to go with that which I actually posted in the wrong channel, so I'm um, touching on kind of the open interest carryovers, all your other um, flow alerts coming in here, IWM, and phase again, GSL, HIMSS, you get the idea. So what I like to do with these, if they don't make a significant move intraday, so I will, I'll come back up to the 20th here. So I, um, or it'd be the 21st, yes, sorry. So I like to break them down, obviously you can see the charts, TA. I will um, break down the flow here as well. So. You have Amazon shop here. Obviously, you can see the charts. I have all charted out. Go over the alert. Kind of break down the flow and obviously some info in here as well. So this is kind of for those that are not in here that don't see what I do. But if they make a significant move intraday, we're not going to chase or anything. So I mean, like end phase made a big move intraday there. So just our charts for the week and all that here so I'm gonna get rid of the discord here and we're gonna move over to the flow so first up we had GDX and we had 53138 calls so these are actually saved right now under my trade so these actually came in on the flow alerts and or the interval flow tab so I'm just gonna kind of go over the contract. So, so again, 531.38 call. Let's take a peek at the flow here, and let me bring it back. So again, there's your entry, and looks like this whale is still in, but these made a good move on the same day. So these ran from 45 to 65 intraday. It's a 44% gain. And I'm going to pull up the contract here and show everybody. So GDX. So you can see the whale en entering there. So 44, they hit a little higher than 65, but we'll go with 65 here. So about 44% for the an intraday there. And this flow here. So again, at the time, I'm not going to be able to break it down as good in real time right now, but at the time actually I'll pull back discord back up and we'll just kind of quickly touch on them so I'll go back to the 20th so 20th so looking at this at the time obviously clean entry huge spike in net call premium at the time net put premium dipped off volume of calls was up so that stuck out to me there so moving on to Amazon so Amazon, we had the 628, 20, 24, 170 puts. This was a floor trader for 200K for 1,500 contracts. Clear opening trade here. And let's take a peek here. So again, it looks like this whale's still in. You can kind of tell that based off the volume and open interest. Here's your whale entry, 133. These topped out at 151 on 523 so about 133 to 153 so 15 percent on those 
nice little two day scalp and it does look like this whale's still in as well and looking at the flow here this was an interval flow one so 99% of this total volume accounted for the chain so 201k premium pretty much all ask side volume here as well quickly looking at that there is your whale net put premium spiked net call premiums are bid side ask volume is up and let's look at the contract here so again here is your entry on 521 whale at 133 and these topped out again a little bit above so I had 153 so they hit about 156 so giving us close to 20 percent about 17 percent there and that was um, those ran the same day as well so let's move on to Tesla now pop this out so this was another good intraday scalp this was um, we had all this flow come in on the 21st at the same time we had 23,000 contracts and I'll show everybody the alert here but these ran quick and this was a clean exit here as well I'll, I'm not gonna be able to get back to that exact day actually these came in let's see the 21st let me go back here so on 521 so here's your entry and you can see get out of the way there so the so these red bars here are this whale exiting so you can see they entered at 23 they were taking profits at 29 and 26 and you could confirm this the next day because we had all this volume that day only 10,000 of that carried over so kinda just doing the math there and based on I'll pull up the alert here and show everybody so where's my Tesla so there was 9,000 volume there so we had two of those come in and so about 20,000 and we saw 40,000 exchange hands that day so just mathematically looking at it the whale opened and closed you can assume that so this was an interval flow one so 9900 at this time we had more come in a little bit right after at 23 for 230k and these ran from 25 to 29 nice little 16 percent scalp for that whale and again looking at that so here's that volume here clean volume when it came in net call premiums up net put premiums down volume of calls ex extremely outweighing puts so so again then we had shop calls come in and I'll start out here so again this was a flow alert so repeated hits on the 62860 call at 195,000 contracts at 195k and coming over here so this was a nice one because this is gapped up the next day and go back so here you go here's their entry 195 gap up the next day 268 and they topped out I believe at and I actually didn't show the Tesla contracts so I'll just quick show that here so pit stop so here you go 2431 on those Tesla contracts so shop here's your whale entry right down here you can see that volume candle to 195 they topped out at 301 the next day on the gap up for let's see so 301 I added 295 so 301 so those hit about 54 percent 50 54 percent depending on if you got filled at the ask the spreads were a little wider on that at at open so IV increasing with the gap up obviously so so our next one is eBay and I like how I said I wasn't gonna show everybody in discord to make this a little more seamless clearly didn't work so eBay 
repeated hits to descending fill. So typically I wouldn't do something with the descending fill just because usually that means the IV would be decreasing as well. I like the IV to be in increasing, so we, um, and I, I can pull that contract up and show everybody too. So 816, 52 and a half, call at 266, 105K. You can see the clean opening volume there. Net call premiums were up, net put premiums down. And coming over to the contract. So looking at this contract. So this was an interesting one because when you look at the volume here, come down. So I did like how the, it's probably gonna tweak out on me there, yeah, because it's so far back. Let me, so that was on the 21st, so bump this back, 521. So this was the flow and it's probably gonna tweak on me a little bit more too. So 26, 86, I mean, volume was kind of going up, obviously, 86, 86, or IV was going up 86, increasing, not decreasing. So that's the thing I looked at with the IV on there with the descending flow. So coming back here, so this is same day that I came in. Here's your entry, some more ask side volume, and we did get some bid side volume coming in. So, pulling this up in Discord, this is where, let me find eBay here quick. So eBay, I liked, this was the issue here, that bid side candle. I wanted to see how much of this volume carried over. So we had 829 on the day for 521. So let's go back and look here one more time probably shouldn't have closed that out. So 521, we had 829. We had half of that carryover. So to me, it looks like that whale may have took some off that day. But go back here, Tuesday. It's harder to tell kind of on this one because you have this other volume earlier in the day, which can kind of look like this person closed the same day and some bid side here. So this one was a little tougher. This is why I kind of like a higher amount of contracts to trade so you can easily track them. But with eBay, I like the chart setup. So looking at the weekly there, we had a bull flag. So I like the chart setup. Matt, mixing the flow with that helped. So that was eBay. And eBay is actually trading at, these contracts made a really good move actually. So entered at 268, they're running at 392 today and market is still going, as you can see it's Friday. So these ran 266 and they topped out at 390 today, so 46% on those, another good find there. And next we had end phase again, so these came in on the 22nd and these were a Let's go back here and phase going up a little bit more. Yeah, this is me being confused. Let's see, end phase. So okay, here we go. So we had the 719, 145 call at 188. This was an interval flow one. So again, 97% of that total volume came in on this in this little five minute time frame. Average fill was in at 188. Premium 113k. Looking at the volume, there's your clean entry. Net call premium was spiked. Net put premium leaning bid side. Again, volume up there. And looking at this right here. Let me go back. So there's your entry. So 188. They're running at about 498 today believe they topped out at like 503 I'll check here in a second but can obviously see a lot going on here I actually believe this whale closed yesterday though because this is 
this is a very this is where the you can get a good visual here so here's your candle of 605 at the ask side we had a bid side oh get out of the way so a bid side candle coming in here at 300 at 340 so this whale probably took some profits there at 340 and then you see more on the 23rd so another 300 so at 265 I would assume and we did have this green candle here so I mean it could be part of that but could be chasers exactly you can't tell 100% but based on those two red candles I would assume this big whale closed their full position there so that's kind of where the visual aspect comes in here so these ran so this was a 145 call so here's your whale entry on the 22nd at 188 these actually hit 505 today so let's take a peek here so 505 here so those ran for 168 percent and obviously we had that dip yesterday which we had another end phase alert which let's touch on here as well so moving on here so next up that was the first end phase so we had IWM puts here so pulling this up here so ETF flow can be hedged I it's harder to read just because you don't 100% know exactly what they're going to be doing with it but we had repeated hits with an ascending fill here on the 628 200 puts 10,000 contracts at 1.63 million looking at that there there's your entry huge spike in net put premium your net call premium leading bid side and at the time market tide was bearish so I mean when you mix multiple factors you can kind of get a sentiment that way and we also had the whale coming in right after for the same amount of contracts at the ask so I assumed based on market tide and all this this whale was probably doubling down and looking at the contract here so IWM so there's your whale entry and they're actually still up so 160 they're still running at 210 right now but there's your entry you can see all that volume carried over into the next day one thing you always have to check so your volume carrying it over there so these ran from 160 all the way up to 320, 332 ish. Let's take a peek. So, whale entry here, a little earlier, they came in at 9. So, 9, 162, 163, and there's your movement of the contract. So, 332 there, and you can see they're still green from their initial entry. And we had next we had AMC calls so AMC again a thousand percent lotto just everybody knows what's going on with AMC and all that so AMC 100% lotto call repeated hits 621 six and a half call 80 177k looking here obviously these made a nice intraday move 80 all the way up to 9 they actually topped out a little bit more at the ask because I believe I got filled on those at like one um can see this whale's actually still at in two interesting do with that info as you wish so looking at the AMC contract here's your entry that day so 102 yeah because I was gonna say I got filled at one on that one so 102 so 80 to 102 they hit about 27 percent intraday nice could have been a nice little scalp so we got two more to go and that is it so so we had end phase come in yesterday on the 23rd so repeated hits 110 put this was a short term so this is one thing I always look for the days to expiration how aggressive is this whale are they looking for a quicker move are they looking for a longer term move 
so I'll touch on that. We actually have two more that haven't made moves yet, so I'll kind of touch on those at the end as well. Um, so a quicker move, everything was kind of pulling back yesterday. Good size, pretty good premium. Looking at the net premiums, net ask side premium was spiked, or net put premium on the ask side. Volume for puts was up. Net call premium was still up a little bit, but put premium was outweighing that. So looking at this here, so looks like this whale may be cutting some losses now too, so 200. This whale opened at 85, so it looks like they could have took some profits there. Actually, let's take a piece. So, 1,500 contracts yesterday. So, we only had 740. So, they probably actually closed the same day. Might have closed at the ask there. Um, looking here, so entry 85, and these hit the high of the day three times. So, a lot of time to take profits if you're doing this as a scalp. So, 114, 111, 113. These ended up topping out at so these actually topped out at 121. So you can see, I hate Weeble sometimes. So here's your entry yesterday 86 hit 121 here. So about 40% on those intraday. So we have one more left that has made a move so we had some very far out contracts on the GSL 92030 call so good size good premium so this is one thing that with these further out contracts I mean you can see this is 120 days they're a little harder to analyze the movement and stuff because this whale is obviously looking for a move over an extended period of time versus that end phase whale that was looking for a really quick short term move. So looking here obviously clean entry you have the spike in net call premium and sorry had a trade I'm watching um, so GSL Pull that up. This is actually running today. So GSL, 119 days out. There's your entry, 95. They're running about 125 right now, so 31% on them. So we have two more. These haven't made moves yet, but I'm, I'll still pull it up and show everybody. So Netflix, we had 614, 575 put. This whale, 21 days out, 157. They're down a bit down about 40% right now. Obviously, um, on these longer term contracts, something I like to do is, I'll pull these out. I'm gonna bring this into the TA area, so like yesterday. So Netflix and him, so I like to chart these out. So like Netflix, chart out, I can find a better entry here. So I would look for a better entry on something a little further out, which is something you can do getting broken down here so so Netflix and hymns are both I would say TBD because hymns is also so 21 days I mean three weeks on Netflix that's a good amount of time 84 days on hymns again this will is a little weird because spreads were kind of here but all this volume did carry over so again the last two are I would say to be decided but for the week because I'm kind of just breaking these down intra week so we had pull up the alerts one more time so we had a total of 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so going 10 for 12 on alerts intra week or intraday it's a very good return so um that's all I have for everybody in this video hope everybody has a great extended weekend and for those that would like to try Unusual Whales as well, too, they're having a Memorial Day sale. I will drop the discount code in the description. It is 15% off if you're a new 
customer and 20% off if you'd like to upgrade. And also if you're interested in joining Stock Hub, the link will be posted below as well. Have a great weekend everyone.